Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Jay Mitch. I'm up here today with the Limitless V1, OG Limitless V1. Um, made a couple updates to her, um, but I could talk about that when we come back from the run, go into that into a little bit of the discussion. Um, so I'm going to say before I get started, if you haven't yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your man's channel. Thank y'all so much. Um, so um, just been a busy June and July month, man. So had a couple runs, not really go my way, but um, you know, just to let y'all know, I'm still out here doing my thing. Um, so with that being said, I got my GPS on. I'm gonna hit track, start, zero out the GPS, make sure it's picking up. It is picking up. I'm gonna stop, uh, start it back up again for y'all. Y'all know how I do famous 7.30 a.m. runs before work. Okay. See the car is pulling to, um, pulling to the right somewhat. coming pull to the side got a couple cars coming got a runner nobody's coming from that way y'all know i'm not staying on this side of the road right i'm across the road of course because i always had problems driving from my left side Last time I came out, I had an issue with my range extender and it really, really ended up in tragedy. Now, I did kind of record it, but I didn't record the whole thing because it was definitely not a good look. Anyway, I got the car centered. Look both ways. Let's go. Little squirrely down there. Little squirrely down there, guys. Not gonna hold y'all. She definitely is pulling to the left somewhat, which I don't like. See, I got this tape all over the place. <laughs> Let's see what the number is on that. Try to get another one because that I think I could do a little bit better because the car car was wandering a little bit in the beginning, had to actually try to drive her. But let's see what our GPS says. Stop, read. 117. Mm, 117 is definitely on the slow side. One, 117 is not what this car should be doing today. This car should be in the 140s, 150s easily. So I'm going to give it another, going to give it another run, guys. See if I can improve a lot on it. All right. So we're going to start it back up. I gotta get out of here soon. So let's try one more quick pass.
Look both ways, nothing coming. Let's not do that. Pull on to the right. Little left correction. Nope, oh, nope. I'm happy I stopped, guys. Looks like I blown something. Looks like a, we looks like looks like we did more than blow something. Looks like I lost the whole damn wheel, which I'm okay with too. Yeah, we lost the whole wheel, guys. That'd have been crazy. Okay, I'm gonna end it. I'm trying to push the car. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I'm like, why is this car like habitually going, pulling to the one side? I'm missing a whole damn wheel. Looks like I lost it up top there. So I'm gonna, when I go to leave out, I'm gonna go up there and see if I can locate the wheel. But with that being said, let me take y'all underneath the car, talk about the things I've changed in the car for 2023. And we'll bring her back out later this week and, and, and really put up a good number, guys. So for 2023, we made a couple minor changes. Things that you, you can see and things that you can't see. So with that being said, let me take the lid off. So the first thing you'll notice is I'm missing the wheel. Oh, snap, look at that. Don't even have to go far. The wheel's up in the car. I can't, you can't make that shit up. So in reality, I just lost a wheel nut. So I'll take that. I'll take a wheel nut all day. I mean, I got a spare one in the car, so that's fine. Um, so things that I've changed. Um, I installed a front, uh, Scorched RC front locker in the car. That was one thing. Um, I changed the gearing somewhat from what I was running last year, try to put up some numbers. Um, added a, an ESC fan to the car, which is, you know, a, a aftermarket ESC fan, which was cool. Um, and probably the biggest change to the car that no one can see is, I actually updated the internal diffs to the Arma Limitless V2 differentials. Um, so that is probably the biggest change I made for 2023. Uh, and today I'm running this Max Amps 8S LiPo. Um, and uh, another thing that you can't see is, like I said, I had a tragic run last week with my Habao VT2. Had like, could have been one of the most potentially expensive crashes of my life. But thank God we were able to salvage everything for the car. The car actually crashed off road. There's a little hidden, um, like, like reservoir down underneath these weeds the car went in there i lost the entire motor and esc it spent five days out here waiting for me to find it incredible story on how i found a motor yet i mean a esc and a lipo um it was my dual motor build so i lost potentially could have lost five or six hundred dollars worth of stuff but everything was fine the only the biggest loss of the car turning out to be now is just the body so we have to replace the body but that's that was a cool story but anyway this is about this car man's talking way too much i'm gonna say thank y'all so much for watching shout out to my homie dave hubbard rest in peace shout out to big willie shout out to the homie ted shout out to adam from rc discount shout out to everybody supports your man's channel thank you so much for watching We'll be back out later this week with the car. Got to figure out what we got going on. Probably need a recalibration, figure out how we get this car shooting straight. And um, we'll bring it back out. Definitely going to change the tires. The tires look like they've had better days for sure. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. I can see it splitting up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Y'all be good now. Peace. GoPro. Stop recording.